Alright, after this one, I promise you won't, uh, get daily videos anymore. Currently watching the playoffs. Um, yeah, so this is a notebook that I got for Christmas. Shout out to baby. Shout out to my girl for giving me this. Um, yeah, so I write a bunch of things down, but June 1st. June goals. So these are my things. Um, at the end of the month, I'm going to do an update on my goals. But uh, yeah, these are the things that I want to work on this month. Uh, I want to try different things, uh, work on a lot of different stuff. Got to start reading these books. I got to finish this one book that I'm reading. It's a writing book. Um, but yeah, this is my book where I write stuff down. I've been planning a lot of different things. Um, and this has been a big help to me. I had one like this, but either I lost it or someone stole it or got misplaced, you know, whatever have you. Um, but my girl noticed and she decided to get this for me and I just really appreciate it. And uh, I'm trying to make, you know, good use of it. So this is going to be a big tool uh, for people who, you know, told you about the vision board for people who have visions and goals that they want, you know, to see accomplished. It's just, uh, it's always good to write things down, um, you know, helps you have a sense of like continuity in your head and helps you keep track of your progress with things. So get you a notebook or a chart or, you know, a, a calendar, whatever, whatever have you and, 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 and do things like that. And the vision, the vision is always important. So, um, you know, you don't have to make a vision board, but just, you know, even if you want to just jot it down in, in, in here. But um, I, I really suggest that you do that because this this, this is the big tool that's going to keep me um, on top of my stuff. It's going to keep me grounded uh, throughout the rest of this year. This notebook over here, if you notice, that was what kept me uh, last year. And um, I can't even tell you how much it helped just having that thing um you know, and, and I, I really think it played a huge part in me getting my goals accomplished uh, last year. So, and if, tw you know, if 26 was my most accomplished year, then 27 has got to be even better now. So, um, that's what we're hoping on. All right, y'all. First cut, you see this? Wanted to be clean shaven because we're starting over. New month. You know what I mean? Uh... It's the June look, you know. I'm trying to get that James L. Jones for my uh hey, I saw the picture, you know, for my um for my birthday this year. So I just wanted to regrow my hair and start over, you know, clean shaving, mustache aside. Can't go can't get rid of that. And you know, see how it comes out. Okay. Hmm? A little disappointed I'm running a little late today, but I'm on my way to the Broadway Comedy Club. I'll be performing. It's my second time this year. So, you know, definitely checking off one of the boxes with my bonus. I'm feeling good, man. Shout out to you, Dylan. For... Well, no, sorry. Dwayne. Get y'all mixed up. But, uh, yeah, shout out to you, Dwayne. Hooking me up, you know, giving me an opportunity to clap for me. So, yeah, yeah. This is it. And that's me. Uh, Alright, we're going to keep this party rolling. Right now, we have a musical guest out here to bring to the stage. I need y'all to make some noise for the musical sounds of Kirk Hill. Thank you. 
I'm not listening. I've been voicing. Yes. <laughs> and mommy, this my my cut. <laughs> yep. Yo, know, moments like these, you really gotta take stock. Just to how powerful God. Like, look at this. Look at this rain. I'm so close to being home. This is freaking ridiculous. Yeah. So I'm gonna just. Wait this out and see what happens. Not 30 seconds later, I swear this shit just got worse. Oh. 
and not 10 seconds after that. Look at this. I don't even think this phone does it justice. Look who is taking her sweet ass time to come save me. Love, this is real love. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hey, everybody. I just want to have a little, real quick, uh, vulnerable moment. Um, if no, I haven't mentioned it before, you know, and once I edit all these videos, I'll, I'll know, so you might not even see this part, but, um, if you haven't, if I haven't mentioned it before, um, I have generalized anxiety disorder, um, and my mind is just constantly uh, plagued with overthinking, um, intrusive thoughts, and it's very hard to focus on tasks, it's very hard to stay, uh, positive about things, and it's hard to really, um, you just, it just makes you question, like, almost every decision that you make, and you go over things, and you just overanalyze, and it's, it's very stressful, very annoying. It's kind of scary sometimes. Um, I'm in a place now where I feel like I really need guidance. And um, it's going to take too long to talk about right now, but there's this social movement that I've been working on for a long time. Um, I kind of stopped it due to a lot of personal things going on in my life. And uh, some of my family and friends know about this movement that I'm talking about. Um, it's called the Revival Movement. And it's this thing that I really want to share with the world. But um, I can't right now. But there are some core things that I learned in my study for preparing this movement. And um, I find myself kind of going back into self-reflection mode and you know and I guess this is just going to be part of my life having to like start back at the beginning a lot because that's just been something that I've been doing but I um <clears throat> I find myself going back into what I need for me you know and how can I be better how can I enhance my surroundings my environment so that I can be as successful as I want to be and I'm and I'm learning that I, I kind of need people I need help and um a lot of this I don't want to do on my own you know and a lot of stuff that I've done on my own is only because I feel like I've had to or because I just don't want to be a burden on anyone. But I need I need some some real mentorship guidance. I need some some teamwork. You know, I need like real right hand man, like partners, like, you know, soldiers that got my back, man, and Sometimes I feel like I have them. Sometimes I feel like I don't. But I need to know who's really on this journey with me. And I need to invite people to be a part of the journey with me. Um, and that's what I want to focus on now. So that's just um, something that I want to share. And I'm hoping that that's something that improves on, improves and changes, you know, um, on the course of this year. Because I know where I want to be, you know, and we, and you know, this is this is the road to twenty seven. You know what I mean? So um, I just want to uh, I want to make it count, 
and I want this year to be the foundation for the rest of it, you know. Um, the Last Dance, the Jordan, the Michael Jordan and the Bulls um, documentary uh, was a big part of my uh, research for the revival movement. Um, and, you know, Jordan had to go through a lot, but that, that 91 year where he finally got his first ring, a lot of stuff came together, right people at the right time, and he was a success. And that's what I'm looking for now. That's what I need. So, um, yeah, definitely, definitely want to do that. Um, it's time. It's time to get my first ring. You know what I mean? First of the summer, you know. You didn't time that right. You didn't time those jumps right. Jump, jump. Oh no. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Jump, jump, jump. Keep going, keep going, keep going! Woo! Go, 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 go! Oh! <laughs> you like to play? Oh my gosh! What's your favorite book to read? What do you like about the train book, you say? Right, and then that book, it tells you a lot about trains and how they go really fast, and they go under the tunnels. Is there anything else it tells you? I got that. You got the same book at home? So you read it at home and at school? Good job, Ethan. Ethan, do you have a favorite friend in our classroom? Mm -hmm. Who do you like to play with in the playground? Raylan. Raylan? Yeah. He's your favorite friend? What kind of games do you play with Raylan in the playground? Um, Very good. Thank you so much, Ethan. Congratulations, Ethan. Hey, congrats to my guy, son. That's my guy. <laughs> Yo, happy Juneteenth, everybody. It's a nice, hot June day. We out here. I'm representing my, my ancestors that came before me. And uh, my god brother in town, he all the way down the block coming through. It's my bro, B. You know what I'm saying? Militia. So, uh, I'm about to hang out with him, about to get this hair cut. But, um, yeah, you know, I just want everybody to celebrate who they are, celebrate where you come from. You know what I mean? A lot of us got the roots in us, you know, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta celebrate and you gotta re represent, acknowledge, and give, give, give homage and give honor to those who paved the road on which we walk. You understand? So, uh, today I just wanna get myself cleaned up. You know, I wanna look good. I got some things to do. I'm getting ready for Father's Day tomorrow. I'm about to spend time with my pops. So, uh, we doing our thing. But there's the broski. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Happy Juneteenth. Be blessed. Have a good one. Did my duty today. My civic duty. Couldn't work the election like I had originally planned, but I did vote. And it's important. 
but I'll see how this uh, rank choice thing works out. But, um, you know, Thank you, you too. Thank you. Yeah, you know, we're here to make a difference. So, glad I did my civic duty today, glad I voted. Even though I couldn't actually work the election. I'm gonna put my sticker on when I get in the house, it's raining today. But, uh, yes. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that I did this, uh, I did research on most of them, you know, uh, the borough president and the comptroller, uh, I was a little uninformed about that and that's my fault, but, um, the city council, the mayor, and the DA, yeah, I was on that, I was on that, did my in my due diligence so here's hoping we you know make something happen we out here from Harlem from New York you know let's make this place a better place Circumstances I was granted, I was surely driven as a shawty to climb up out the trenches. The stealing turkey sandwiches from corner stores were senseless. I thought I lost my senses. The growling was relentless. Hopping over fences, working on a steel. Thinking to myself, I needed more than just a meal. Be worse, be worse, if that works. Happy 21, my guy. That was good. <laughs> Look at my man, James. Not only the Crocs, not only the dress, not only the snap back, but the Victoria's Secret too. Why is she stunting so hard for the pool today? Oh my, oh my and today, god. And today, do me with the back. My son with the Crocs and the Minecraft shirt and the sun shorts to follow. Ooh, he's got it. He's got it. And the shades. Ooh, the turnaround with the shades. Mm. My man. That's what I'm talking about, though. But the king do what the king do. Right. The kingdom, the Lion kingdom. king on deck, stunting on these. Here. I'm not going to say that word with Malcolm X in the background. But Daddy, I'm stunting Daddy, on him. Daddy, stunting on him. Daddy, Just give know. me your phone. I want to do it to you. With, with the hot knot, take it. How much lion can he guzz and stand? You don't know, but that means you're good at the dancing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we made it to the end of June um, I'll make this real quick because I gotta go to work But um, This year Is Halfway done And In terms of me and my progress And my goals for the year um, You know, still a little behind That's to be expected But uh I'm trying to finally get it together. Uh, I think I've worked through enough things for me to be like, all right, now it's time to just keep moving, keep making progress, and that's uh, that's my that's my main objective now. And uh, I haven't 
gotten that guidance that I was looking for just yet. Um, I've gotten some advice. Uh, I've gotten people, you know, who've, who've, who've been there for me and helped me out, you know, just been an ear to, to listen to me. And I'm, I'm very grateful for those people. But I still got a lot uh, that I need to do and got to keep focusing on building that team and uh, realizing, you know, who I can rely on, who I can go to for things. And that's going to be a big help uh, moving forward in the year. So that's going to be my goal. And uh, July is going to be a big month, a lot of important things happening and, you know, summertime. So I want to enjoy myself, but I also want to progress and um july is going to be about that balance and about really you know pushing so um hopefully there'll be some good things for y'all to see in july but this is the end of the june chapter and uh you know y'all take it easy and thank you for for watching and following along um yeah so here's looking to july